We're at uh, Morgan Farm out here, uh, right, uh, right here on tw I call it 23, but it's Pompton, and they're selling native plants. They had 10,000. They've already sold about 4,000. This is all part of the historical society. So look who's been nice enough to stick around, <laughs> Amy, Ryan, Ray. Bond. Ray Ray Bine, you are a part of the uh, the historical society. Yes. Your family settled this area in the 1600s. Yes, the Dutch. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this is the Morgan farm because the Morgans bought some of this property from your family, right? Right. In 1910, uh, Benjamin Campfield, who's my great grandfather, sold this property to the Morgans, and they moved across the street. I love. Meeting people like you with this connection, and I took some video of the house we're sharing that right now on TV. Why is it important to preserve homes like this? Obviously, I know why it's important to you personally. Right. Why is it important for the community? I mean, it's just important to get younger generations interested, um, so, so that they know where they came from, um, the history of the town. It's really important. And and the connection of this town to farming, and I love what the historical society is doing with the farm at the bottom of the hill, and coming up later in this show, we're going to go inside all these great local products to sell to raise money to make sure the house is supported. Yeah, the the farm stand is amazing. John and Alyssa do a great job at that. Um, we're open. From the end of May all the way until our apple and pumpkin sale in the fall, mm. um, every Saturday. And I love this. Uh, we're going to talk more about the native plants coming up and some of the fun things you can do here. And we'll talk to more people. I know we'll meet people. There is one thing, Cindy. I hope you saw. They have a they have a portrait of their dog from 1910. <laughs> they they did. I found that in yeah. there. All these interesting little artifacts. So it's like making it real and keeping it real, bringing history to life. And uh, I know you're busy, so thank you for your time this thank morning. You. And we'll have more fun and we'll see what uh, what other people are eating. Ah. Right now, though, we'll send things back to uh, <laughs> fellow eater and dog lover Cindy in the studio. John, honestly, when you were showing me inside the house, which I love seeing all the, the things that are you yeah. know antique, the dog picture is what stood out to me. You know, so got a little name that was from 1910, I believe. Wow. Beautiful picture. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. It is 9:20 each week. CBS 2 News Saturday morning. We'll be highlighting small business throughout the tri-state area, showcasing what they have to offer and how they play a part in their community and supporting their efforts to bounce back from the pandemic. For more information, you can scan the QR code on your screen and tune in each Saturday as we shop local.